We have both uh, so kids who are receiving the resource and kids who are not. Uh, kids are receiving the therapy piece. Um, all of that happens together. So these groups are, are together uh, for a program that happens uh, simultaneously, both um, occurring at the same time. So I have a daughter uh, who's only six months old at this time. It's one of the main motivating factors was that I work here. I think one of the great things about this program is that there is that integrated element um, and availability of staff to participate um, in that element of the program. And with the remodel, we're really trying to look at uh, a more even population between needs and not needs. With uh, able-bodied children and uh, children with needs, that really motivated me as well, so that my daughter will see uh, kids with needs as opposed to just her dad with needs. So that was, that was a huge motivating factor. So our kids that, even within the resource group, can be a peer model to other kids within the program because the diversity within that range of kids with needs is pretty big too. So we still have, even those kids that are getting therapy, we still have kids that are walking around and talking and are social and um, they can be good uh, teachers and uh, uh, learners in that group as well. And then that group that is non-resource and uh, not needing any sort of therapy assistance um, they're great models and they, they learn how to interact with these kids that are in wheelchairs or in walkers and, and, uh, and how to uh, participate with them in a slightly different way that helps them be inclusionary.